Sophia and I headed to Sale, our favorite outdoor adventure store, where we take you through the process of how to choose the perfect backpack for you. I am here with Rebecca and she is gonna help me choose a new backpack because I am due. My last backpack I bought like nine years ago. So you have a tool here that yes. will measure me so it'll help us choose the right backpack. Absolutely, yeah. This here, it's essentially very simple, just a piece of plastic and all it's gonna wind up doing is it's gonna tell us how long your spine is from the base of your spine to your C7 vertebrae. Okay. Uh, reason being that's important because in a structured bag or a bag where you're gonna be carrying a lot of weight, you want all of the weight to be distributed to your hips as opposed to on your shoulders. What it's gonna show is essentially because of where the bottom of the bag is sitting, the C7 vertebrae is this one right here. It's the one that sticks out. You can generally feel it if you just use one finger and it's showing that it's about 16. So your spine is about 16 inches long, meaning you're an extra small in most bags. The other thing too, if you could just lift your arms up on either side, yeah, and you're gonna be about the exact same. You're about a small, upper end of a small in your hip belt. Based off of where the middle of your arm is, generally about here, you're looking at the hip belt size around. So you fall pretty much in the middle of a small for your hip belt. So past that, we can actually start trying on some bags now that we know what size that you are and where you can fall in. So the big thing with the bag is you wanna make sure that when you fitted the bag, you want it to be touching pretty much every point from the bottom at the uh, at the hip belt all the way up around your shoulders and all the way back down it's going to wind up meaning that the bag's not going to be falling all over the place when you've actually got weight in yeah it. it seems pretty secure you'll see on some of these that it'll be a 45 plus 10 or a 35 plus 10 and what does that mean so it, the base capacity of the bag is 45 liters, meaning that when the bag is not adjusted, it's going to be a 45 liter bag. What you can do with these bags is on the inside, you have two different points where you can cinch it down. You have that point there, okay. and you have an extendable point on the top. So it adds an extra 10 liters to the bag. Oh, so it takes okay. the 45 liter bag to a 55 liter. I always try to pack less before my trip, but I love to buy things. So, no, absolutely. So then it can just grow a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so any really good bag brand um, is going to include sizing that is separate from the capacity of the bag. So a 38 liter bag will come in a small, medium, and large in good bag brands. So let's talk about brands because there's yeah. so many brands and I, I really don't know which ones are the best, which ones are better, best for me. Yeah, How absolutely. do I know? Generally, I start people with Osprey and Gregory. They're two of the better quality bags that we carry. Osprey being a big name in bags. Um, both of those companies only make bags, so you know what you're getting from them is gonna be good quality. Nice thing about a company like Osprey, they've got a phenomenal warranty. So anything you do to that bag, they will fix it, and if they can't fix it, they will replace it. You a new one. Across the lifetime wow. of the bag. Steps for trying a backpack. First, you want to make sure it it fits nice, it's comfortable. Then you want to do up your belt strap. Make sure it's sitting on your hips. And tighten it just enough, not too tight to lose circulation. Next, the arm straps here. So make sure that they're snug and nothing is pinching and hurting your armpits. Last step is your chest. So you don't want to pull this too tight, just enough to have some tension. That's it, ready to go. So there's three really big things about men's and women's bags that you're gonna see in terms of a difference. The most noticeable is really going to be the strap. So you'll notice with a lot of the men's straps, they have a tendency to sit straighter down the chest as opposed to women's straps, which immediately taper off under the arm. Most women's straps, you'll see that, that's basically to accommodate for obviously a woman's chest. Um, that's the big difference. The other two differences are more subtle. Uh, they're gonna be the hip belt and the width of the bag. So you'll notice with a lot of men's bags, the width of the bag is going to be a fair bit wider, usually to accommodate broader shoulders, versus the women's bags, which usually sit a little bit narrower. Uh, last difference is the hip belts. The men's hip belts are typically flatter versus women's hip belts, which naturally will angle once you do it up. I have found my bag and I'm really excited about it. This is like my apartment, basically. Uh, I'll show you all the compartments. There's tons, which I love. There's this top one here. 
and then also here. So there's two compartments just in the top part alone. There's tons of space inside, which is great because I love buying clothes and jewelry when I'm traveling and extra space is always great. And then there's all these compartments in here. This is good for like uh, toiletries. And then there's another compartment here that's probably good for like sandals or running shoes. It's got a waterproof cover for when it rains, rain cover. You can access it from the top as well as the side, which is a plus. My other bag does not do that. And then there's these side pockets. You can put like a camera in there, a vlogging camera. There's one on both sides. The great thing about this is it's 58 liters, but it doesn't look like 58 liters, which is great because now I can take it as a carry-on, which means goal achieved. I found my bag. So this is the Osprey Aether yeah. 60. And 60 liters, it has tons of compartments. This is the top selling bag, so a lot of people love it. Um, it has this top part that can be totally removable and I can even wear it as a day pack if I want. It's got tons of storage. I can access the bag from this top zipper which is something that you guys should look at when you're searching for your bag. Different accesses to get to the main compartment. You can also access it from the bottom. I can divide the bottom so I can put dirty laundry here and all my fresh laundry in the top. Great feature. I can put the bladder pack that I have for my Camelback full of water in here and then I can drink when I'm on the go. And awesome support in the back. It has this, uh, this little covering to allow some ventilation. So when you're walking long distances, you're not going to sweat and stink up your bag. I think we have our bags. I'm ready for some travel. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Not a problem at all. Absolutely. I'm very glad I can help you guys out. Great. Thank yes. you. <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who also love travel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so you never miss out on any upcoming adventures. Happy travels.